y'all YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be a perfume review. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I have to say about this fragrance, then go ahead and just keep on watching. All right, y'all, so first things first, go ahead and leave me a comment down below on what your scent of the day is. And also tell me what scents you've been enjoying during this quarantine time, because I know that yes, most of us are in the house, but there's no reason why you can't go around smelling good around your house. Leave me a comment down below on what your scent of the day is. My scent of the day is, of course, the fragrance that we're talking about. This is Valhelm Perfumeries Mango Skin Eau de Parfum. This is the 100ml bottle. And y'all, <laughs> this fragrance has me speechless. So let me just get into the fragrance house and then I'll start talking about this fragrance in particular. So I think I'm saying the house name right, Valhelm Perfumery. I'm going to leave a link down below to this perfume in particular. This fragrance is 100 ml, which is 3.4 fluid ounces. And this retails for 210 pounds, which is 240 US dollars. It's expensive, but I mean, of course, there are others that are more expensive like Creed. Creed is not cheap. So I have my phone here. I'm going to read to you guys what the description says on the Veilhelm Perfumery's website. And this says, have you really ever tasted one? With a single bite, you can feel the mango in your veins. Wild colors, endless skies, and untamed happiness. Breathtaking South Africa becomes the backdrop from this expressionist burst of blackberries, mango, and black pepper. A ripe fruit that reveals its complex flavors, a cocktail of wild orris, black lotus, and jasmine that leaves behind patchouli, vanilla, and a hint of pink sugar. If that's not captivating, I don't know what is. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what this smells like. This is actually my scent of the day. Ooh, okay, so when you first spray this, you definitely get that mango. This has a very juicy, sweet, ripe smelling fruity opening oh it smells delicious oh my gosh i already put a nice dent in this and i'm so sad oh so it has that juicy ripe sweet mango with that blackberry it smells delicious then once about 20 to 30 minutes pass you start getting that vanilla it really starts coming in like in the middle of the whole performance of this fragrance but also you get a little bit of that jasmine. I personally love jasmine and the jasmine in this is a very fresh and clean jasmine. I would not consider this to be a fresh scent whatsoever. I would categorize this as a fruity, little powdery from the orris, very fruity, sweet, ripe type of smell. That powderiness and that vanilla makes this more of a mature fruity and not like a very immature juvenile fruity. This to me is like a sexy version of what fruity should be and in a very sophisticated way without smelling very mature like a Chanel number no. 5 or something like that. This to me is just very playful. It's very daytime. It's very sexy for the daytime. This reminds me of a vacation in the tropical islands. This reminds me of Jamaica because I'm supposed to be going to Jamaica in September and I'm definitely going to bring this along because this just gives you that thirsty type of vibe. Like I just want something with mangoes in it. It just it just gives you that happy feeling. I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm so happy talking about this because it's very uplifting. I absolutely love that about this fragrance. The patchouli that is in here is a very clean patchouli. This does not give it that dirty grungy type of smell which i pr i love patchouli y'all <laughs> i love me some patchouli and it does kind of smell like dirt sometimes but in this fragrance it's not dirty it's a very clean and refined type of patchouli and also with that vanilla it it gives it that warmth that it needs but i didn't know it had that pink sugar in it and that is what gives it that nice sweetness throughout the whole experience of this scent Projection and sillage, girl, I mean, boy, girl, whatever. Y'all are going to smell like this all day long. Like, this is a banger. But I will say the projection goes from a very heavy projection to moderate throughout the day. So you're not going to smell beast mode all day. I say you get the, the best 
projection from this for about three or four hours I didn't over spray because I'm in the house this is very expensive and I was wearing this all week so that I could give you guys a thorough review but I worked out yesterday forgot that I sprayed this and I still smelled this during and after my workout which was about six hours after I sprayed it so y'all I mean this is a niche house this is an expensive perfume and it better last but it just always makes me feel good when a perfume lasts all day and you can smell it now I will say that that mango scent lasts a long time with this fragrance and that is what really sold my heart on this because my grandmother had mango trees in her backyard and this just reminds me of florida eating right juicy mangoes sticky mangoes oh it's just so good y'all i definitely will recommend this is this unisex no not really i would say i personally don't like to label fragrances if you want to wear Chanel number no. five and you're a guy, wear, wear Chanel number no. five. If you want to wear Dior Sauvage and you're a female, wear Dior Sauvage. I don't care. But this is a very sweet, fruity, uplifting, and it's grounded with that vanilla and that patchouli. It's just, to me, it's an all-around bomb summer, really summer fragrance, especially if you live like in California or Florida or someplace where you could just go to the beach and just smell nice and juicy oh this just will be perfect but to me i'm in freaking arkansas there's no bodies of water here so this just gives me that nice pick me up especially during this time where we're all quarantined in the house this just gives me that nice pick me up and makes me feel very happy and excited to talk about so y'all oh and i forgot to mention the cap y'all it's magnetic love that and then you can still see the silver on the neck which i like and then it has this simple yet beautiful engraved type of look and then of course you have the logo on the bottom of the bottle and i just love it it's very minimalistic yellow is my favorite color i just love everything about this fragrance the only thing i don't like about this fragrance is the way that the bottle is shaped I don't like the way that the bottle is shaped it's very very bulky and it takes up a lot of space but if you just have this sitting on your vanity or on your dresser or wherever you like to store your fragrances that'll be nice I'm going to show you guys a clip of what the box looks like and you can leave it in the box or whatnot but all in all you guys this is a beautiful fragrance this is very minimalistic it's yellow yellow makes people happy yellow is my favorite color again and i just i can't say anything else about this because it's so good it has me speechless <laughs> like it truly has me speechless and i would definitely recommend you guys getting your hands on this getting a decamp because this is a very very pricey pricey fragrance i would definitely recommend you guys trying it out before you buy it and make sure that you guys actually enjoy it i love it y'all I love it. I love it. There's nothing else I really can say about this, but it is good. And I'm so happy I have this in my collection. I will definitely repurchase this once I run out, even though it is a pricey fragrance. I love it. So yes, I would definitely recommend you guys trying this brand out. I don't know what the other scents smell like. I just know what mango skin smells like, but I am definitely interested in some other scents that they have. That's all I have for you all today. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.